Hello soldiers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to solve Alma Bitters module 1, assignment 9, and the topic is production grade programming 1. So here you can see in the problem 1, create a class cylinder which takes two attributes radius and height. So create the following methods in this class method 1 volume which calculates the volume of the cylinder which is defined as v equals to pi r square h method 2 surface area which calculates the area of the cylinder which is defined as s equal to 2 pi r h assume this is an open cylinder so let's start so this is our class cylinder here so first I am just giving the value of radius as 1 and the value of height as 1. Then here you can see this is a basic template of a class. So then here I am just creating the method. First method self dot volume. Here pi value is 3.14 into radius square into height. And the second method is area so 2 pi r h that's why 2 into 3.14 into self dot radius into self dot height so then here in the second this one why i created means uh, to enter the to give the value of radius and height from my side okay from the user side Okay, I'm just going to run this thing. Yeah, uh, it will just take a few seconds to connect. Yeah. Okay, now it's connected. I'm just going to initialize this thing. So here, C dot volume means the volume which we got. 3.14 because the radius is 1 and the height is also 1 then area 6.28 because uh, we are just multiplying 2 with 3.14 and the rest are 1 1 so <coughs> I just gave the values as uh, radius as 5 and the height as 8 so you can see the area and volume now we are moving to the problem number two you started your own money wallet where your customers can create their accounts and they can either deposit or withdraw money from this wallet write a python class bank account which takes the balance as an attribute we can initialize the balance with the zero because any new account will have zero rupees in their wallet next write two methods for your class withdraw first method which takes the amount to be withdrawn as an argument and returns the balance after the withdrawal and the second method which takes the second method is deposit which takes the amount to be deposited as an argument and returns the balance after the deposit so keep in mind that if the balance to be withdrawn exceeds the current balance it should display a message that not enough balance in your account so i'm just going to create a class called bank account here you can see first i'm just initializing balance equals to zero so then here you can see if if condition is there if else condition so here if balance greater than or equals to the amount then self dot balance equal to balance minus account what we are saying first we are checking like the amount which we are going to take out from the bank is higher than the balance or not so if we don't have money in our bank only how we can take out like how we can withdraw money from our bank 
so that's what we are checking in the first line in the second line so the amount which we took out from the bank we are just subtracting that amount as you can see so then we are returning the balance so in this case if the if condition fails that means there is not enough balance in my account now we are writing another method for deposit so here you can see what we are going to do if balance is there right then balance plus the amount so then we are going to return the balance so that means we are adding the amount to the balance that's what we are doing in this line then we are returning the balance so i'm just going to so first i'm going to deposit the so i just deposited 1000 rupees in my account then what i'm going to do i'm just going to withdraw 500 so if i withdraw 500 i'll be having 500 in my account right that's what it's showing now we are going to solve problem number three create a class time which takes two inputs hours and minutes to initiate construct a method display time which displays the time in am slash pm formats for example if the input is 14 hours and 45 minutes then this method will print at the time is 2 45 pm if the inputted hours exceeds 23 then prints the message the input hours should be less than 24 and if the inputted minutes exceeds 29 then print the message the input in minutes should be less than 60 also if the input is 12 hours 30 minutes then the display time would be 12 uh, 12 30 pm construct a method display ratio which should display the ratio of minutes to hours for example 8 hours and 16 minutes should display and the second one use try accept block to account of zero division error so here you can see in the production grade programming we also use try and accept right so that's what we are going to do first i'm going to create a class called time here you can see i'm just giving hours and minutes here then display time so this is a nest condition nest if condition if else condition here you can see if hours greater than 23 or minutes greater than 59 then if 23 less than the enter hours so, so the hours which we entered that should be less than 23 the input hours should be less than 24 so so that means if the so what we are doing here the input hours should be less than 24 so so if the inputted hours are greater than 23 so it will just print this thing if not the input minute should be less than 60 here you can see in else if statement so self dot hours greater than 11 here you can see what we are doing hours minus 12 then we are printing the minutes in pm 
okay then else we are printing them in the am here you can see here display ratio here hours greater than 23 or minutes greater than 59 23 less than means should be less than 24 else should be less than 60 here you can see hours greater than 11 means minus 12 then we are printing the minutes here hours here what we are doing to print the ratio we are just rounding off it so that we don't get any extra uh, digits so minutes by hours we are rounding it off with the two then in zero division error if if it is div divided by zero then we will get error that's why we are using try except here so then i'm just going to run this thing here this thing also first time i have to run this thing here you can see these are the input values then i'm just using for loop here and this is the output here you can see the time is 11 45 pm so these are the outputs you can see here also i'm just going to get these values also display the corresponding ratios so here we will get the ratio also so i'm just going to run this thing here ratio is 7.5 as you can see this yeah okay and that's it for now meet you next video till then bye bye